Hey friends, it's Lisa Sugarman from the Suicide Survivor Series. I'm a mental health advocate, a survivor of suicide loss, and I'm also a crisis counselor with the Trevor Project. And my husband Dave and I are just out walking and talking. And we're, we're just like having this conversation about how grateful I am that he has been here for me all these years since I learned about my dad's suicide. For those who don't know, my dad died when I was 10. The story I was given was that he had a heart attack and I didn't find out until I was 45 that he died by suicide. So Dave was there with me from like minute one of regrieving all that. What was that like for you as someone who has never experienced a suicide loss directly like that? It was, it was a challenge to sometimes feel like I didn't know the right thing to say. Mm -hmm. And it took me a while to recognize that I really didn't have to say anything. It's more about mm -hmm. listening and being a sounding board and just saving space and being there. Yeah, yep, that's it. And as the person who was sharing and confiding all those feelings in you, that's all I needed. Like that's, that's all I ever really needed. And I think people get intimidated because they're afraid that they're not gonna be enough. You are absolutely enough. And just being there to hold that space is exactly what somebody needs.